Hey guys, so I want to talk about rotating a um, material around. Um, I'm going to show it in this sample model, but this little pick here, um, I think visually really shows, you know, um, what I'm talking about. And I'm sure um, if you've dealt with materials before, you, you may have um, seen this problem where, you know, you bring it in and apply it on whatever surface and you, you know, the... Um, threads or whatever are kind of going or the grain uh, of the wood or or the material is just going the, the um, wrong direction um, you know for this example it would be nice if it would go vertically um, so that it aligns with uh, this piece down here and it looks correct and it's actually really easy so when I show you um, I'm gonna show it on just one plane but keep this in mind like um, this this um, um, family here was actually uh, so this there there's a plane here and then there's a plane here and that material kinda knows it and so you can rotate these planes you know separately and they're not gonna interfere with one another so keep that in mind when you're rotating these um, so that um, you know, you just know that you don't, um, you know, have to rotate one, um, and it's going to affect the other one. You know that you can rotate both to make sure that they're both aligned and look correct. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this, and we'll take a look at kind of that process within um, Revit. So I have the 2019. Um, architectural advanced sample project and you can get that by visiting Autodesk site um, or you can get it from your def default install so just either way um, if you want to follow along you can you can do it um, you can open that model or you can go ahead and just open up a new model draw maybe a wall or a floor and just um, uh, start because we'll go we'll what we'll do later is we'll actually add bring in a new image that will rotate by kind of doing this process so um you know you could do that with with just a a plain floor regardless you know what model it is so uh in this view we can see that the um, panels kind of go this way on this uh floor here and or they go they go kind of go horizontal um, and we want them to go vertically so up and down we want them um, face that way you know whatever the reason is we just want them that way this model is already set up to where it's pretty easy because it has a pattern on it that we can actually tab into so um, it's, it's, it's easy as clicking our tab key you can see it kind of aligns to each of these panels um, and you can even tab the other way to grab um, these lines as well so you know either way it doesn't matter we just want to grab one so we'll grab this we'll just click it and then press the rotate command which is up here or you can do the R quick key and then you know we'll go ahead and rotate it so I'm going to just click here and then we'll just rotate it 90 degrees I'll type that in so that we know we get it correctly and we can see here that it's rotated um, to give you a good visual, we'll go to realistic and see the difference. So we can see now that it's rotated, and then we'll go back to, and then we'll see it that way as well. Because I didn't show it. So you can see it's really easy. If the material has a pattern, you can just grab that pattern, just tap into it, um, and then you can rotate it, and it's that easy. Um, <clears throat> to really, you know, do this, um, because if you don't have a material or you're creating a new one, really do this and get it set up it's it, it's just as easy almost so um, I'll go through that process but if all you had to do was rotate a you know an existing material that already had a pattern there you go hopefully it helps um, so we'll go ahead and add a new material to this floor and to do that we'll just jump over here to materials <clears throat> and then we'll just create a brand new material so with this open, we'll come down here and say create material, and we'll just we'll just leave it at default new material, and then over here, um, in appearance, we're gonna change the image. You know, let and let's just say we're doing this from you know um, a 
kind of a common workflow by you know going out here to Google and actually looking for that material and um, you know maybe I want to grab this one because it this one should be pretty apparent you know if we, we turn it so I'm gonna grab this and we'll say you know save as image and I'm just gonna save it here on my OneDrive I'll minimize And then we'll go ahead and grab it. So there it is, open. And there you go. So we got the material in there, and it should be good to go. Um, and now what I want to do is add the um, the actual pattern so to do that we would come into here and we would add a pattern by clicking on that button so just make sure that you go to graphics and we'll go ahead and click on this foreground pattern and we'll switch it to model so that we can see um, and actually tab into it if we if we stick it to drafting we won't be able to actually uh, tab into that um, uh, pattern and actually rotate it so we'll go to model and you can grab any of these um, you may want to scale them or change them around because one cool thing too is like sometimes I'll bring in an image maybe a, a, of a site or something or even a um, analysis or a lighting analysis I could bring it in you know uh, to scale and align it to a floor you can actually not just rotate these patterns you can move them around which is nice when you bring it in a uh, an analysis uh, uh, you know that then you can apply to a floor plan because sometimes it doesn't align correct so you can kind of move them around to to align them and you may want to change the scales and stuff so to do that you would just create or you would change the scale of the um, the pattern itself um, to do that you would just you know come down here and say new fill and I'll just leave it at new pattern name and you just come down here and switch this to 90 degrees and then you come up here and say cross hat hatch and then you can come down here and say you know um, the line space in between one and two um, change it to whatever you want you know what you know, whatever makes sense press OK press OK again and now we have this pattern so we'll press OK and what we'll do is we'll up Pretty much update this floor so we'll go we'll click into the floor we'll go to edit type then we'll edit the structure and then we'll just jump into the material of the finish so we'll click those three dots and then we'll just search new grab that that new one we just created we'll press ok press ok again then one more time now we kind of see our uh, new pattern. Um, it's not the best one, but it, it'll do the job. So we can see that right now the paneling is is verti vertical. So what we'll do um, after it loads is we'll rotate it so that it's horizontal. So get a better view. I'm going to kind of flatten this. Okay, so um, all we got to do is switch it back to shaded, and then now we can see our um, pattern, and then we just tab into it. We can tab in it that way or that way. Um, again, you know, just to show you, uh, we can move it, so I can kind of move this around. It's not going to do much with this because this is kind of the same pattern. But if you brought in a, you know, for example, a, um, you ran, you ran a. a uh, lighting analysis and it gives you that kind of um, that uh, that gr the ground with some some of the you know different colors you can you know go to a floor plan export that out and then bring it in as an image and then place it on a floor and then you would want to move it around just to align it and then after that you could actually take it into Enscape or you know do a, a pretty cool rendering with it so keep that in mind you can move them um, 
what we want to do with this one is rotate it so we'll tab in there and then we'll press the R uh, quick keyboard shortcut command at least that's mine I'm not sure if that's everybody else's but um, if not you know just go up there to um, modify which, uh, and then click the uh, rotate command so I'm going to put it the dot where's it there it goes so we just want to rotate this 90 degrees so I'll type it in just to make sure that we actually get it there oops we do not want to do that so do make sure you tab into it I'll do it again tab rotate I should have known that it was it was going to do that because it was highlighting everything in blue so type in 90 rotated so we didn't see anything happen again you know it may make sense not to set these patterns as cross cross hatch uh, it all depends on what really what you're trying to do but um, this isn't you know we're not trying to rotate it some complex rotation we just want it 90 degrees so we'll jump back into our model and see um, see it so we can see now it's horizontal instead of vertical uh, and it's that easy so you know if you're creating a new material just go out there google the material or, or however you know whatever the method is for getting a material grab that material bring it down uh, apply it uh, create a new one um, add a pattern and then or and then make sure it's a model um, type and then when you um, are in a view just tab into it rotate and then you could rotate your materials so um, that's it. So hopefully this helped you out. It, it did for me when I figured this out. Somebody else actually uh, showed me how to do this because um, I was working on a uh, Enscape model and it just didn't look right um, the way uh, the family looked. It was actually from that that Word doc we were looking at that image. Um, you know that just didn't look right from the angle we were we were trying to capture and we could see that it was really apparent that it, you know that wasn't correct so hopefully uh, this helps you out um, let me know if you have any questions um, please comment if you do um, uh, like share subscribe thanks a lot for watching